Islands of Delapagos, confirmation 76, extreme unctions 813, births 42. We will now hear a letter from Marquis Alfonso Felipe Gonzaga, dispatched from Maracaibo in South America. Most reverend and illustrious fathers, with the present letter, I hereby confirm my sending you my annual gift of 100,000 pesos to be used for the propagation of the faith in the Caribbean territories. As governor of Maracaibo, I face a serious problem and earnestly request your action on what I'm about to disclose. I take this opportunity to bring to your attention the case of two missionaries now working in the Caribbean area, Father Pedro de Leon and a father whose name I don't know. Their activities are destroying, little by little, the work of your esteemed order. They carry on illicit trading on the high seas. One of them is always armed, while the other, a violent man, claims not to recognize any civil or military authority. All this while protected by their ecclesiastical habits, they attempt to garner enormous profits from their Stop. agriculture. I will not listen to such slander against our brothers. But this letter was written by the Marquis Gonzaga. Why well, believe him about this? He is a Catholic the proven faith. No more than our brothers. And he has contributed so generously to our order. I knew I recognized the name. Father Pedro de Leon went through seminary with me. Due to the common fund for construction of the church. They kept us up all night in making such a sound. Pesos. We held them underwater until they all pesos. had drowned. Their death was mourned by one and all. We laughed and cried and said a mass, but did not comb our hair. Quinine, 20 boxes. Candy, five uh, pounds. Two new habits, if there's any money left over. We made some jolly music and ate chocolate layer cakes. Parasols and hid inside a bag of blue-eyed rattlesnakes. Blue-eyed rattlesnakes, one bag. Please, will you shut up, huh? Ah. Oh, Lord, although we know they are not worthy, I ask your help in ruling this colony of sinners under your divine protection. Make their crops plentiful and rich so that you're serving the government. Well, those two missionaries are here. Yes, they'll be coming out on the street. They don't understand that. Well, that's what I don't know here. Father Pedro, Professor Van Doren and his colleagues are here to carry out a series of important studies relating to the islands of the Caribbean. He has already visited your mission here, most of the places of interest on the island, and spoken with the witch doctors. Uh, Dr. Sonenshine, his medical consultant, had a highly interesting technical discussion with them. These gentlemen have shown a curiosity typical of true geographers and explorers. They are, in brief, devoted scientists and want to express their appreciation. It's certainly a unique and fascinating community. Scientifically, I mean. But what about the other missionary? Why didn't he come back? Business. Oh, I see. Where were we, uh, Professor? The Professor and I were discussing his life's work. You know, his research into that prehistoric fish. Well, as I told you, <clears throat> it belonged to a species which vanished many millions of years ago. Its role in our development consists in being the first creature that attempted to emerge from the sea and walk on land, thus giving rise to the development of reptiles, and then progressing to ape, and finally to man, as we know him today. Man descending from a fish? <laughs> I'm a scientist. And yet still enough of a Christian to believe that man was created by God. If I ever succeed in catching a living specimen of that fish, that'll confirm a great many scientific theories. And you priests are going to rewrite a lot of the Holy Scriptures. What do you think, Father? Harboring an atheist who attacks your beliefs, staying here as a guest of your mission. A guest of the island, not of the mission. But doesn't the island belong to the mission? The island belongs to those who live on it. Oh, really? Huh. Instead, your only concern was material, to improve them, by introducing them to sewing machines, candy, etc. They told me themselves they love you, because you consider them as equals.
Angel. We found something with your name in it. 